Hey, what's up, Aquarius? Welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for being with me here today. I really appreciate you. If this reading helps or resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information's in the description box down below. And if you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. So, with that being said, Aquarius, let's get right into your reading to see what messages need to come through for you for the second half of November. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance to overall see what's going on. All right, so Aquarius, what's going on for Aquarius? Show me clearly. Okay, deck is ready. It does not want to shuffle anymore. Let's get into it. Page of Pentacles reverse coming out. Messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the second half of November 2022. Knight of Pentacles. Hierophant reversed. We got a lot of earth out here and eight of wands ah queen of pentacles hangman page of cups high priestess so aquarius you are given an alternate route for you to take so okay all right hierophant reverse taurus energy we also have pisces coming out twice could be dealing with the pisces may have pisces placements in your natal chart so you are being pushed outside of your comfort zone. You are needing to break away from tradition. You're needing to do things differently than you typically would normally go about things. You're needing to do things opposite. It's time to do the opposite of what you would typically do. Okay. Um, you're being asked to plan ahead. You're preparing for something. You're preparing for something. There may have been a delay or some something didn't go according to plan or I'm kind of seeing that there may have been like a missed opportunity, um, but it was intentional. I feel like you're aware of it, like you intentionally missed out on something or you intentionally didn't act on something because you were waiting there's the energy of you waiting on something uh hangman right stagnant taking time out to reflect not to act not to take action just holding off for some reason for some reason your intuition here high priestess was telling you to wait your intuition was telling you let me wait let me hold off let me not jump into anything right now let me not um start anything new right now let me just sit and observe and wait for some reason, your intuition was picking up on that. So that's what you chose to do. You chose to do that. You chose to just take some time out for yourself, um, self-care, self-love, um, self-nourishment, okay? And there's something about you needing to follow like your intuition moving forwards because that's going to lead you to the path that you're supposed to be on or the direction that you're supposed to go down and with the hierophant reverse like you're you know like you need the way that you need to approach this situation is like different than how you typically would approach it in the past like maybe in the past you would have just like jumped the gun and been like fuck it and like acted impulsively but in regards to this situation you are considering all of your options and it seems that there is like a an alternate route that you wouldn't alternate route why did i say it like that alternate route that you wouldn't typically go down but you're choosing to go down that path and that path is actually what um it seems like you're gonna choose a path or the path that you end up taking or like the choice that you end up making um gives you quicker results or brings you closer to this wish or this goal a lot quicker than if you just um took like the traditional way or the traditional route um it feels like you're you found a shortcut to something you found a shortcut you found some sort of like you found like a little life hack or something i don't know like what is this life hack comment down below let me know but yeah it seems like by you going against like the traditional way about like doing something you've cut some sort of corner you've made a shortcut and you get even quicker than if you were to just take the path that you're on right now so it seems like there's um yeah, it's like you missed out on an opportunity or you sat out from doing something or taking up a, a chance or an offer because you had this feeling like I need to wait and I need to take a different path. And that's good that you're paying attention to that because that path that you ended up taking or that you end up taking in the next couple of weeks, 
that's what is bringing you to a lot of awesome shit so that's really cool it seems like you're really in tune with your intuition these next few weeks it seems like you are um you're not in any rush you're very patient you're very very grounded we have a lot of earth energy throughout this reading um you're showing up very just in tune with yourself you're really listening to what it is that you need and yeah i love that i respect that like it just it feels like you're being like pushed forwards and like you're advancing in many ways many levels and um there's something that you could be reflecting on here hangman and the page of cups like you're thinking about like there's some emotions that you're reflecting on maybe emotions that are hidden or feelings that you've kept a secret there's maybe secret emotions here secret feelings that you have that you're thinking a lot about or you're reflecting back at to at some sort of like um like conversation that you had you're like reflecting on something or you're trying to view something in a different perspective and you're like combining your logic and your intuition and it's giving you clarity on a situation that maybe there's some secrets or there's not a lot of information on that you're trying to you're trying to figure something out here there's some, this is a this is an interesting mysterious vibe from you aquarius like what's going on here we're gonna we're gonna clarify and get details um so let's do this thing uh let's look into this hmm Hierophant reverse and see what that's about. Try the Hierophant reverse for Aquarius. Like you're thinking for yourself. You're not following the crowd. Um, that's very Aquarian of you, right? Try the Hierophant reverse for Aquarius. Some of you, you're breaking away from contracts or like there could be something that you're leaving behind or walking away from. Or like you're moving in a different direction it's almost like 180 degree flip like you're turning your back on something and going somewhere else i don't know something like that some of you have travel coming up or moving coming up um another message i would say with the high priestess pay attention to your dreams pay attention to the signs read the signs read into everything all right you're being guided and you're needing to keep your eyes peeled and pay very close attention um, as that's going to lead you to the path that you're supposed to be going on or the direction that you should be heading down, okay? Turn out the Hierophant reverse for Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Oh, and the Sun. Ooh, okay. Um, let me pull some more for the Hierophant reverse for Aquarius. We got Leo energy coming out twice. We got some Earth, more of it. Three of Swords. Oh, breaking there some of you went through a breakup recently or there's separation here uh two of cups is at the bottom but i'm gonna pull a couple more for the hierophant reversed okay this card the world yeah okay anything else about the hierophant reverse for aquarius some of you had a breakup some of you just went through an ending in a relationship strength reverse could be with a leo devil reverse so you went through an ending in some sort of relationship or maybe it, for some it was a relationship for some it's something else okay um something that came to an end though it was very draining it was very toxic it was very restrictive you were in a situation where you couldn't grow or you felt held back you felt held back but you're not held back anymore you feel free you feel like you can finally live your life um underneath the devil we have the four of wands six of wands knight of pentacles i kind of feel like um like on the surface wherever whatever this is talking about whether this was like a relationship friendship partnership if this was your career if this was like home situation it's like on the surface it looked it looked great on the outside it looked healthy it looked fulfilling it looked so picture perfect but behind closed doors what people don't see what people weren't aware of is that this situation this environment or even just like yourself like on the outside it's like you look picture perfect and you're happy and you're in alignment but on the inside behind closed doors there's a lot of toxicities and a lot of pain and a lot of hurt and a lot of sadness so anyways um clarifying the hierophant reverse it's like what are you breaking away from you're breaking away from some sort of toxic cycle a cycle that had a lot of painful 
it's painful experiences, painful emotions. Um, I feel like you've given up on something, strength reverse. You've quit something. You've walked away from something that's just not worth fighting for. And as you are walking away from that, and I feel like that's been a message that's been reoccurring for you, Aquarius. As you are walking away from that, or there's there's some time, there's some space, there's some separation. You're getting back your footing. Um, maybe that's something that you're reflecting on here at the hangman of like this ending that you went through. Um, anyways, when one thing ends, another thing begins and you have something better coming in. Ace of Pentacles could be relating to work, could be relating to your money or a hustle business idea, some sort of project that you're beginning. This is something that is going to be like a long term kind of project. This might even be in regards to your health and wellness um, or just some sort of goal that you have, but this might even be in relating to like your money or your finances, but it's something that brings a lot of enjoyment, a lot of fulfillment, a lot of satisfaction, and just giving you a sense of purpose, all right? This does require, hmm, this may require hard work or physical work. Maybe it's not like hard work, but it requires a lot of your focus a lot of your determination a lot of your strength and your willpower a lot of drive and for you to stay focused and for you to stay motivated um or disciplined right sometimes sometimes we don't have that motivation sometimes it's hard to stay motivated that's where we really got to rely on that discipline here so i see that there's something new this relating to the path that um that you're taking this alternate route yeah so and this is something that's going to be part of your future like long-term future so this is something that's going to be growing and developing over time and it's requiring you to have patience but it makes you really happy this seems like it's very fulfilling and it's worth it it's worth it and that that knight of pentacles you're not in any rush you're like i know it's going to be a long journey i know it's not something that's going to happen overnight but it's something that I love. It's something that I'm passionate about and I'm going to pursue it. So hell yeah, I love that. Maybe you're using um, like a painful experience as like motivation or you're using this pain as like fuel to 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 fuel yourself forward, something like that. Um, let's take a look into the eight of wands. Eight of wands for, I was going to call you Leo. What the hell? Eight of wands for Aquarius, rising Venus in um second half of november tell me about the eight of wands for aquarius show me clearly eight of wands for aquarius sun moon rising venus for the second half of november eight of wands please whoa okay page of wands we also have king of pentacles a we also got the Queen of Swords. We got a lot of people energy. It could be dealing with a lot of people. Hierophant and the King of Cups. Literally, like people, 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 people. Hierophant, even that's that's even considered like a person, you know. But it's all good. Five of Cups reverse. Page of Cups. Ah, High Priestess. Okay, double confirmation again. Um, so there's that there's this energy of you overcoming some sort of sadness or overcoming that painful experience or some sort of setback or some sort of loss there's healing taking place and you have lots you have lots of new things that are coming into your life that were once like hidden or things you weren't aware of are now starting to make themselves known you may have lots of people that you're dealing with we have things in regards to your romance we have things in regards to your passions your endeavors we got things coming in about your money we got things coming in about like your mindset there's like a lot of new things coming in we have like yeah we have a lot of new energy for you and the eight of wands does talk about manifesting multiple opportunities so it's like multiple new things coming in or multiple things that you have been working towards are starting to manifest into your physical reality you're starting to see a shift you're starting to see changes in your environment you're first of all you're starting to see changes within yourself right 
within your mindset, within your attitude to life, um, the way that you just go about things. You're breaking away from old um, mindsets, old beliefs, old ways of being and living, old structures, old routines. You're breaking away from like an old version of you, really. You've outgrown that part of yourself it's like you you need a bigger pot like a plant <laughs> like a plant will only grow a certain size in like a certain size of a pot like you got a pot this big the plant's only going to grow this big you need a you want to grow this big you got to get a bigger you got to get a big ass pot you know so it's like you've I mean, some of you have like outgrown your environment and it's time to expand or it's time to move on or it's time to like try something new here and some of you have like an invitation coming in or you're being invited to go somewhere or to do something that you haven't done before i think you're going to be meeting really important people in the next little while not even just like the next couple of weeks but even the next few months is going to be really crucial for you um i don't know why i said it like that that was weird <laughs> um but yeah, you're showing up as someone who's reliable. You're showing up as someone who's dependable, loyal, committed. Like, you're taking these next steps very seriously. And again, you're leveling up from a knight to a king. This is massive growth. Massive growth happening for you this next, um, next couple of weeks. You should be proud of yourself. There is some sort of commitment here or whatever that's starting or whatever it is that's really getting off the ground requires you to commit to this or you're really needing to show up. And this is about you. You might be dealing with like people older than you or people who like some of you are seeking out a mentor or you're there's someone that you're going to be crossing paths with that has a lot of wisdom to share Um and they will help guide you like there's someone yeah some of you have like a teacher coming in or you're coming into like union with someone who's going to teach you a lot in life um wow yeah someone who's going to help heal you i feel or help you um get over some sort of sadness this is really interesting We have a Queen of Swords out here. Again, we have all these court cards. We have Queen of Swords out here, which is you... You finding... You know what? You're really finding the balance between your logic versus your intuition. So, like... You're being, like... You got the analytical. You got the business side. But then you also got the creative side. And, like, you're finding a way to, like, mesh the two together and incorporate it into what it is that you're doing. It's really interesting. It's I kind of I okay all right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Um, what is your intuition saying? Like high priestess, what is hidden or what's being like revealed to you? Um, right? Because literally, literally, I forgot at the bottom of the deck. Page of Cups and the High Priestess. Page of Cups and the High Priestess. Double confirmation. You can't make this up, y'all. So I want to look into that. I want to see what this is about. Oh wait, wrong cards. Uh, yeah, let's take a let's take a look. Hold on, under the, underneath those cards, we have the Seven of Cups. So there's like a situation here that you may be feeling a bit confused about or uncertain of. Wheel of Fortune. That's about to change. You're not going to be uncertain about this much longer. Ten of Cups. Oh, it, and it, it seems like whatever you find out, whatever you're about to find out, or whatever that is being discussed here. It's exciting. It's fulfilling. It's it's really cool. Okay, all right, all right. Let's clarify that. Page of Cups and the High Priestess for Aquarius for the second half of November. Like there might be having you you might be having like conversations with someone, um, opening up about your emotions or how you feel, having conversations that require you to be to be be a little bit more vulnerable. We'll see. Let's see. Page of Cups, High Priestess for Aquarius. What's this about for the next couple of weeks? Three of Pentacles, Hermit. Learning to open up, especially if you've been isolated or just kind of keep into yourself. Um, I see that there's growth and development in your relationships and friendships, and that's good. Three of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands reversed. Coming out. What else we got? Again, we have a lot of um, earth and fire in this reading. 
we also have Virgo out here. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Page of Cups, High Priestess, Eight of Pentacles, Revert. Oh, you know what? My deck's upside down, y'all. Well, that makes sense. Okay, anything else about the Page of Cups, High Priestess, Page of Cups? Anything else that we need to know? And then I'll break this down. Okay, Ten of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So something you need to be mindful of is self-sabotage, getting in your own way, feeding into your own fears, um, taking on too much, overworking yourself to the point of exhaustion. I'm kind of seeing here Eight of Pentacles reverse. You, there, there is the energy of like you overworking yourself or pushing yourself past your limits and not knowing when to rest there's also the energy coming from you Aquarius where it's like there's something that you're kind of wanting to just give up on or walk away from or like something that you've been working towards you're kind of starting to reach this point where you're not feeling the most driven or motivated maybe just going back to that page of pentacles reverse um where it's like you're sensing you're needing a change or like you're kind of losing um encouragement or you're losing this inspiration or this spark Maybe you're talking about that with like friends or family or if this is in regards to work, maybe you're talking about that with your people and you're just like, yeah, like, I don't know how much I'm going to stay around in this place or I'm not really feeling this anymore. Or, like, I'm kind of craving a change. I do feel like you're supported in these choices that you have coming up. You are supported by those around you. Um but you're definitely questioning like your path and your purpose and like where you're headed and also just like your future you're thinking a lot about like deeper things and um it's showing here that there's something that you're kind of like your intuition is kind of saying like you know time's kind of running out or like you're starting to consider like it seems like you're kind of starting to switch gears or switch paths or like you know you're in the turning lane you haven't left the highway but you're getting ready to like make your exit is what it feels like you're getting ready to like yeah you're like preparing for a change and um you might be having discussions about that here with the page of cups especially if this is something that you've been seven of swords like moving in silence planning if you've been kind of knight of pentacles right planning so you've been kind of making this move in your mind trying to figure out how you're going to switch these gears or how you know when are you going to take that turn when are you going to switch lanes or move in a different direction and this is something that you've been contemplating doing for a while right going back to the hangman of something that you've been reflecting on um and this has been like again reoccurring theme that's been showing up in your readings like leaving something behind so this has been something that you've been like thinking about doing for a while waiting for the right moment waiting for the right timing and like planning ahead of like what you're doing with your life so there's a lot on your mind you're trying to just like put all the pieces together and just like sort everything out before um jumping out of the nest right so anyways this is like something that you've been kind of keeping to yourself, something that you've been thinking about. I think you're starting to talk to others about and you're expressing like how you're needing a change or you're you're kind of done in this area of your life. Um, and I think it's relating to like some sort of passion, goal. It even could be relating to something that you're studying. Like some of you who are in school or university are just like, this isn't for me. I kind of just want to quit. I kind of just want to like drop this class or something like that. Some of you are thinking about moving. So yeah, it's like being, starting to open up about these things that you've been kind of processing internally, keeping it to yourself. You're now starting to open up to others about these things and just kind of getting other people's perspective but ultimately you know what's going to be the best path for you and you know what's going to make you the happiest so there's some big changes around the corner for you and again like you're carrying a lot ten of wands you're carrying a lot and you don't need to carry all this shit like there's a lot of burdens and just baggage and stress and you're trying to just keep it up in the air like you're trying to juggle a lot here and sometimes you've been taking on too much or you might be taking on too much the second half of november so it's like you need to find the balance and know your limits um and like don't say yes if you want to say no like if someone asks you to do something and deep down you like you don't want to do it 
don't say yes just to say yes and be, be all nice i just want to be nice i just wanted to help even though i don't really want to do it don't say yes when you really mean no you know it's like that <laughs> that justin bieber song what do you mean like bitch um eight of pentacles reverse knight of wands reverse i am kind of picking up there's a bit of an inconsistent vibe from you or like in and out or there's something that you're in and out about or like you're one foot in one foot out i think that's a clear sign that it's not in alignment with you or it's not really it's not like long-term future worthy you know like something that you're just kind of like you're feeling it one day the next day you're not you're feeling it next day you're not next day you're not like that's a clear indication that it's not really serving you and it's probably because there's something better out there for you so if you've been feeling that way towards something or someone i think that's a clear indication that you should probably get in that turning lane get off that highway and move in a different direction you know so that's something that's just on your mind here yeah so you're planning you're planning a lot for the future these next few weeks you're thinking a lot about what the next move is where you're going what you'd like to have more of um you're dealing with a lot of people you're really needing to listen to your intuition um you are being guided and you have some awesome things coming in um so yeah just i guess just keep doing what you're doing stay grounded stay patient don't rush into anything right now is the time to review the action that we're taking we got mars retrograding right now mars which is the planet of action and drive and force um and it's retrograde which is like it, it basically it's retrograde till january this is a time to review the action that we're taking and like our goals and our intentions and like making adjustments in the areas where we're feeling like disconnected from or not um motivated so take in the areas where you're not really feeling driven or motivated ask yourself is, is this something that you actually see yourself doing or pursuing you know six months from now a year from now five years from now you know start asking yourself those questions and start thinking about what you would actually like or, or in, in replacement you know um just thinking about that like think you're thinking a lot about the future um there's a lot of forward thinking happening and there's just like a lot <laughs> there's a lot that you're thinking on there's a lot that's on your mind and although you may not have full clarity at this moment that's okay answers will come to you you need some time to be by yourself reconnect with yourself and again there's a different path that you're taking that like it's an alternate path that like you maybe weren't considering even right now you might not even be aware of this alternate path but like it's going to become available to you when the timing's right so basically these next few weeks for you aquarius kind of just keep doing what you're doing um you're starting to make some adjustments or you're thinking about like leaving or moving in a different direction i think you're supported in that i think that's something worth considering and i do feel if you were to take that chance or go in that direction you would be better off because there's something better more fulfilling more worth your while down that path so that is all i got for you aquarius i'm gonna leave your reading here i hope this was helpful and insightful if it was let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel if you want to follow me on my instagram and tiktok you can find me there at jade stone tarot if you'd like to book a private reading with me the information is in the description box <clears throat> description box down below and yeah i'm gonna let you go aquarius hang in there stay blessed stay healthy and i'll talk to you in the next one bye